Conditional probability problems ask the question, what is the probability that event A will occur given the fact that event B has already taken place and event B affects the outcome of event A? In this week's work, we learned that in this sort of case, we're looking for the probability, or I'm sorry, the intersection of the two events, and we have an equation for calculating the probability of F given E. But the problem I'd like to tackle is one that's a little bit simpler than that. It is a conditional probability problem, but you don't need fancy equations for this one. Let's look. Problem says that your teacher's brain contains marbles. 10 blue ones, 20 red ones, and 30 green ones. Marbles are selected without replacement, which means you pull a marble out of the teacher's brain and you don't put it back in. The question says if the first marble selected is blue, what is the probability that the second marble selected is green? I don't want to go beyond that point for right now. Again, if the first marble is selected is blue, what is the probability that the second marble selected is green? Well, first of all, let's refresh the probability of an event is the probability or is equal to the number of favorable outcomes divided by the total number of outcomes. And we often abbreviate this using this terminology and E, which means the number of favorable outcomes over N, the number of outcomes possible in the entire sample space. And let's see. Let's think about this. What, first of all, what are the total number of outcomes when we, before we draw the first marble? Well, let's see. How many marbles do we have? 10, 30, 60 marbles. So before we draw the first marble, in the denominator, we're going to have total possible outcomes is going to be 60. However, by the time uh, we get to the second draw, and that's what we're asked for, the first marble selected was blue. What's the probability that the second marble is green? The first draw has already affected the second, hasn't it? Yes, because there's no longer 60 possible outcomes. That's a big line. There's only 59 possible outcomes. So by the time we get around to drawing that second marble, there's only 59 possible. How many favorable outcomes are there? How many ways can we draw a green marble? Well, let's see how many were there. There were 30 green marbles. We have a 30 59 chance of drawing a green marble the second time that we pull a marble from that teacher's brain. Okay, let's go on to the next part. Let's see, let's write what this is. This is, um, probability that the second marble selected is green. Green with two E's. Okay. We've now selected two marbles. The first one we had a blue. And let's assume, I don't think I say it there, no, that the second time we've drawn a green marble. So we've pulled a blue marble and a green marble. We're on our third draw. And the question is, what is the probability, probability that the third marble selected is green? Well, once again, the probability of this event is equal to the total number of favorable events divided by the total number of possible events, the total number of events in the sample space. Well, how many marbles are left in your teacher's brain at this point? We've already pulled two marbles, which means we started with 60. There's 58 left. How many uh, possibilities are there that a green marble will be selected? Well, there were 30 marbles, but we're assuming that on the second pull, and this was not stated in the problem, but I'm saying this to you, that we've pulled a second marble on the second pull, 
which means there are how many green marbles left? There are 29 marbles. And let's see, is that exactly one half? Boy, it sure is. One half is the probability that the third marble selected is green. This is given the fact that the first marble selected was blue and the second marble selected was green.